It's 105.7 The Point, Everything Alternative. We are uh, backstage today for the Carnival of Madness show. Booyah. And one of our very best friends stops by to say hello. Jacoby from Papa Roach. What's, What's up, man? What's going down, St. Louis? Yeah, The Point. Woo! We love you. Good to be back. It, it's nice to see you. I got to say that I knew that we had a good relationship. But with you doing the interview uh, with your pants down, yeah. I, I'm becoming a little more comfortable and uncomfortable yeah, all cool, at the same man. time. It's all good. Just wait till the undies come up. <laughs> no, man, I'm just, uh, it's very hot out here. I should have wore shorts. And my calves are starting to sweat, so I figure I air them out. So, hey, man, we those just watching online, hello, this is me in my underwear. <laughs> we just want you to be comfortable first yeah. and foremost. I am comfortable. All right, I feel well, quite good. comfortable. Let me lean back a little bit. Step one already taken care of. Yeah. You know, Jacoby, one of the things that I know people always kind of wonder about is what is your day like show day? You uh, know what I mean? What do you what do you what do you do? Let me give the breakdown. All right. Uh, I woke up at ten thirty to a dog barking in my ear. <laughs> That's my alarm on my phone. All right. Um, and then I get up. I have three cups of coffee and you know BS with Jerry, our guitar player, usually. And then uh, I'll come in the dress room. You know, get my boundaries, figure out where, you know, or figure out where I am, and then I realize that I'm in St. Louis, and I say, "Man, it's a lovely hot day today. I might as well work out." <laughs> so I worked out, and uh, and uh, I showered, and I ate some food, and I defeated my workout by eating some fried chicken, which was excellent. <laughs> and uh, you know, today uh, we do some we do some mean greets and stuff like that, and then we'll sure. come and do an interview and whatnot, and then uh, after this, I'll go do a vocal warm up. Then uh, we have have a P. Roach VIP meet and greet that we'll do on this tour, which has been really cool. Um, and then uh, another warm up. I do two warm ups a day. Um, and then I will hit the stage uh, tonight. We've been flip flopping with Skillet, so one night we'll do the main support. The next night they'll do direct support. So we've been flip flopping in that, and the shows have been great. And then uh, we'll rip a show, and then probably tonight I'll watch a little bit of Shine Down. Then I'm gonna watch the LSU Tigers. I'm recording the LSU Tigers game, so very I'm good. Gonna watch that tonight, and you know I'm gonna stay out that sauce and uh, just keep focus and keep murdering the stage. That's the goal. What's now, up? A day in the life of the Dick of Rock. <laughs> now, now, suck it. Now a couple of things here. When now. When do do things start to get serious? You know what I mean. Like, how far before showtime do you kind of put on the game? Right now, dude, it's my pants off. This is Jacoby. Serious. All right. Okay. Well, Why then. so serious. Answer that. No, question. honestly, man, we have the thing called the switch, man. It's like when we step on the deck, uh, about like five minutes before we go on stage. That's it, man. We just do our huddle up, you know, and we just say a little prayer amongst the band, and uh, we just focus our energies, and then that's when we go and slay. You know, it's that switch that just flips inside of us. We could be having a crappy day. You know, or whatnot, and it's like when I step on that deck and I just f hear that intro roll, it's like, all right, game on, let's get at it. Let's do it. Now, uh, talk about how important it is, and you talked about the vocal exercises, to take care of your body. And are the days of the rock and roll excess sort of, it seems as though they might, it, it might be more of a thing people talk about than actually oh, do. Oh, dude, you just got to just come ride the P. Roach bus for a night, dude. I don't think I could. It still gets buck wild, dude. <laughs> it was like in Chicago, it was like we bought boarded the bus, you know, just because I ain't partying or whatever, you know, I'm my bass player, my, my, my drummer, they hold it down like, you know what I'm saying, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was like, we got on the bus, it was like front lounge mosh party, uh, which turned to like a busted nose and a bruised tailbone. Don't ask me that how that happened. <sighs> and uh, sometimes I wake up at like six in the morning, I'm like... Y'all fools still going for it, huh? <laughs> yeah. What's up, dude? You partying like it's 1999 right now. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just to each his own. It's just, you know, me as the mouthpiece of Papa Roach and I'm sober. You know, that's what I represent, but I don't represent my band. You know what I'm saying? I, like I represent myself personally. So, yeah, dude, the debauchery is still alive and well in rock and roll. All right. Well, good. All right. All right. <laughs> now, uh, I know, you know, you're a family guy. Now, talk about. Oh, yeah. uh, I love to have sex and make babies. Well, you do. And you know what? I read something yesterday that you can remember each city or place oh, yes. or time. Would where, you like to know all three? Uh, where all three of your children okay, were conceived. Cool. That's so amazing. This is, this is it. This is it. Ozfest, uh, 2001, I believe. Um, we were drinking Jaeger, Honey Jaeger, backstage at Virginia Beach Amphitheater, and uh, one thing led to another. My penis ended up in my wife's vagina. That's how it normally and, goes. Uh, that's where it went down. Backstage <laughs> in the tour bus, back lounge. 
Virginia Beach, Virginia. All right. Uh, the second one, I remember I was sober, and I remember it was doggy style. My wife turned around and looked at me, and she said, if you come in me, we're having a boy. And I was like, uh, 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 what? Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> yeah. And then the, uh, the third one was uh, this hotel downtown Sacramento. Uh, we were watching my wife's ovulation chart. And, you know, it's like when you got two kids pounding on the door like, Mom, Dad, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Leave us you alone. Know. Watch so we just we got we had my parents come over and watch the kids for a weekend and we went downtown Sacramento, whooped it up and banged it out and proceeded to uh, commence the the celebration of sex, <laughs> which in turn turned into oh, I can't say it, but I really want to say it. it. Starts with the F word. Right, right. Now F trophies. Now when when the kids come around backstage, like do they think it's cool or do, at this point do they grow up around it and it's just kind of what dad? Oh, does? you know, I mean, they still they still really enjoy it. I took uh, Mikhail, my older son, on tour uh, throughout Europe for like six weeks with me, which was awesome, man. You know, like he got to watch Corn, which that's like his new favorite band. You know, and so he still like we still really get off on it. You know, and uh, we think it's fun. You know? Very cool. My, my boy Jagger. He came out on tour with me, and he's like the showboat of the two right now, and he's like, he wants to be on stage singing with me, so he came up on stage a couple of nights and saying, still swinging, like, oh, that's fans, so cool. just go YouTube it, it's super cute, man, <laughs> my little son singing, still swinging, popping it off the hinges, so well, yeah. and I guess that's he's trying to steal the show. Yeah, when the, when the dad's, you know, when you're, the buttons are popping off your shirt, you're so proud. That's oh, it was so awesome, cool, yeah. man, that's so cool. I was so like, cool. get off the stage, you're stealing the show, you little punk. Now, you just talked about corn. you're doing that, and it, I think it's the second year you've done it, that Aftershock show. Oh, in yeah. Northern California with Avenged, with Corn, and, and our first time doing it. Oh, it is yeah. the first. Okay, I'm it's sorry. Pop it, man. We're stoked, man. Go back to Sacramento and rip up a show, and uh, a lot of good friends will be playing that show as well. I'm really excited to see Corn again, share the stage with them. Those are my homies. Very good. And you've got some European dates on the way, some Canadian dates on the way. So yep. more touring at hand for yeah, Papa Roach. Yeah, lots of touring, man. And uh, you know, we're, we'll be out on the road until the end of the year, and then we're going to start working on a record next year. But, uh, you know, I got to say th th thanks to all the fans for being so supportive of P. Roach in the last year, you know, especially with my vocal issues and having to go away for a minute and come back. And, you know, right now, thanks to the fans, too, we got a uh, best song, Leader of the Broken Hearts, number nine on the chart, on the active rock chart. So that's really cool. Like, we're starting to break through a little bit on that song. So, yeah, thanks to the fans and the radio. Wow, very good. Well, Jacoby, we always appreciate your time, man. That's what's Th up. Thank thanks you so much. Me. We learned a lot about you today, all with your pants off. Yeah. You can learn more if you'd like to stick around. I, you know ah, I'm out. Jacoby, I like it, but just not that much. <laughs>